Thanks for clicking on this video. We are here at Palm Springs Aerial Tramway and we're gonna show you guys everything there is to know. Watch the entire video. I promise you, you're not gonna have any questions, but if you do, go ahead and comment them down in the comment box below. So if you have a regular car, it's gonna be $8 to come in. They do charge extra for RVs, so be aware of that. There is handicap parking here. We parked in parking lot G. G and F are at the top of the hill, and there is a handicapped parking all the way on the top of the hill. It does not cost anything extra if somebody's gonna drop you off, or if Uber's picking you up, or if Lyft's picking you up. No extra charge. Okay, so they do have elevators for wheelchairs and also strollers, so be on the lookout, it's accessible. Make sure you download the tram tour if you plan on going on hikes or on trails because once you get up in the mountain, you have no service. So download it at the bottom. That way you have it when you get to the top. It's $26 per adult just for the day. For children from three to 10, it's $17. You could also purchase the annual pass. And if you're not interested in that, you could purchase the summer pass. That way you could come all summer long. You can buy tickets online. And if they're sold out online, you could actually come in person and purchase it in person even though online it says sold out. If you're running late, no big deal. If you don't make the time for your tram, they'll just put you on the next tram. And the trams run every 30 minutes. And if there's a lot of people, they'll run more consistently like every 10 minutes. So Monday through Friday, the first tram leaves at 10 a.m. in the morning. For Saturday, Sundays, and also holidays, the tram leaves at eight in the morning. So the tram ride takes 10 minutes to get all the way to the top. So it doesn't matter where you stay inside of the tram because it's going to rotate on those 10 minutes and you're going to be able to see everything around it. Okay, now we are in Mount San Jacinto, as you can see in the back, and definitely bring a jacket or a sweater because it's at least 35 degrees colder on the mountain than it is down in Palm Springs. If you plan on going camping, it's $5 per person for a camping permit. So you do need a wilderness permit if you are hiking beyond the ranger station. There is no charge for the wilderness permit and you could get it there at the ranger station. So there are a lot of trails down here and we made it to the end of the road where there is no more strollers or wheelchairs. If you have a jogger stroller, bring that instead of a regular stroller. they only allow service dogs to come on the tram so be aware of that and also the dogs cannot be in the wilderness area so they could only be on the tram and they could only be on the restaurant level and they cannot come down in the wilderness so I wanted to talk about the annual maintenance for the tram every September they do maintenance on the tram, so you're not going to be able to come up. So plan accordingly and do not come in September time. So guys, you better not bring your drones because they are not allowed in this area in any part of the tram. If you're interested in a locker, it's $1.25 and it's pretty big, so you can get all your stuff in there. Okay, 
Okay, so we got a ride and dine ticket. So this includes the tram and it also includes a dinner at the Pines Cafe. We are now at the observation deck and the view is amazing. can drink outside if you're into that kind of thing or you could drink anywhere inside too if you plan on eating at peaks restaurant reservations are strongly suggested this is the santa rosa theater room it gives you all the information about the park and also about the tram shops in the second floor they have a cool little museum on the second floor in the information center another tip is bring your water bottle so you can fill it up here instead of paying 325 for a water bottle or a soft drink 